sirbi atu alimar de ti umamos problema anza he went and had various tests there and came back that yes it was positive TB so he couldn't work he just didn't have the energy to work so I just then looked after him for a time his uh, like breathing was very heavy and he felt very weak and he was coughing a lot and so to actually work he didn't have the strength How Sinti Hanisan Saira Lolon and Sa East Boat Lao Musla Bili and Sa Sirvis Tora. But he, he was worried because uh, he said he came to Dili and the rest of the family are still in Nekidoi. He came because he needed to find work to actually get something for them to eat because their crops had failed. And uh, so it was important that he uh, find work in order to have some money to uh, actually give the family something to eat. His first children were twins, boys, and they died. They were very small. Then his next child also uh, was born alive, uh, like the others, but died after three months. Uh, but now, since that time, he has seven other children all alive now. So together they would have made ten. But in their house now, there's seven. And with his wife and himself, it's nine. Uh, but his old father lives, also lives, spends time with, with Domingos and also with another son. In 99, it's true, every single animal was uh, killed. All of their goats, uh, their chickens, their pigs, their cows, everything was gone. So that uh, in 99, when they started again, he's had no animals. And so the two pigs, we had some money, so we helped him. Thank you. 
Some some people who donated money to Mary McKillop specifically wanted it to help people in the mountains to restock their their animals. Oh. <laughs> 